Honoured guests and graduates, esteemed colleagues, friends and family from across the world, it is my pleasure to share a few thoughts with you on this day of celebration, achievement and community. Graduation ceremonies are one of the best parts of my job. It is always a pleasure to share these occasions with our graduates and their proud families and friends. I know this is not the ceremony you envisaged when you started your journey with us, but nothing can or should diminish your achievement. I know how much your degree means to you because of the hard work and study that has brought you to this point and all the opportunities it will allow you to grasp as you go forward in your chosen career. Your achievement is all the greater because of the circumstances you have faced. Every student leaves university with much more than a degree. I hope you leave with the benefit of greater resilience and determination as a result of the unprecedented challenges we have all faced. So congratulations and well done. Congratulations also to your family and friends who share in your successes and achievements today. You can all be immensely proud. Coventry is a university recognized for its high quality teaching, its innovation and excellence in student experience, and its focus on ensuring graduates are job ready with the skills employers need. We have also reached our highest ever placing in the QS World University Rankings. Every success we have is your success, both now and in the future. Today, in this ceremony, we celebrate your achievements and those of your faculty. We are a forward-looking university who works to give our students the academic, professional and vocational expertise to succeed. Your contribution has added to our shared success. You are joined today by your faculty colleagues and peers and some of the academic staff who have supported your journey. What you have achieved individually has been possible because of the work of others too. They have helped you. You have contributed to their success. It has been a partnership. Success and excellence come from a commitment to make a change, from a willingness to invent and try new things, and from working with others. I believe these to be the Coventry characteristics. They are strong values in our city and have deep roots at Coventry University. Throughout this city's long history, we have adapted in a changing world to find new purpose and success. From ribbon weaving to motor car manufacturing, from the ashes of war and the destruction to a modern university city ready to embrace the opportunities of the latest digital technology. Coventry reimagines, renews and looks ahead. We look to the future and seek to make a better one. We invent and create, and we are proud to do so by working with others. That is the Coventry way, and it is built into the values of this university. Sometimes our partners are from the city and region, local industry, community groups, our hospitals, and other institutions. Sometimes our partners are global, from different universities overseas, international businesses, or connected to us online. Your achievements, which we are celebrating today, are the product of those partnerships and collaborations. They are the combination of your hard work and the ethos of this irrepressible city. That is why you are all Coventrians today. You inherit a legacy alongside your award of centuries of creativity, invention, and collaboration. And you are in good company. You join a Coventry University community of tens of thousands which reaches around the world. We are creative and inventive. We work together and we make a difference. I encourage you to find others who share that same ethos and spirit. I know many of you will have had huge contributions to our communities during the coronavirus and I applaud you for your selfishness of your efforts. The world has changed in a few short years of your studies. The future may seem uncertain at times, but please remember that you and the skills, knowledge, resilience and drive you possess are vital to help society and industry recover and rebuild from this pandemic. You will always find new ideas and people to support you here. You will always be welcome. I wish you every success.
My name is Dilvinda Kogil. I am your MC for this convocation ceremony for the class of 2022. The ceremony will commence shortly. Before the ceremony begins, please take note of the following. We would like to request for your cooperation to make this ceremony as pleasant, smooth, and enjoyable as possible. Please do not cross the restricted zone to take any photographs which is in front as this would disrupt the ceremony. We have engaged professional photographers to cover this event. Those interested may place their orders for photographs with personnel from the photo studio Photorex Holdings, Sandirian Burhan. We would also like to request that all handphones be switched off or turned to silent mode during the ceremony to avoid any interruption. In light of the recent COVID-19 outbreak, it is crucial that we pay close attention to some preventative measures in order to stay safe. Please note that this hall has been disinfected before the arrival of our guest for today's convocation ceremony and shall once again be disinfected immediately after this event. As you have noticed that you entered the campus, the committee has checked your mind Sajatra status. Hand sanitizers have been placed around the hall and you are encouraged to use them as preventative measures. Kindly wear your mask at all times. The ceremony will begin with the academic procession. You are requested to rise when the academic proce procession enters. Please remain standing throughout the procession. Please rise for the student procession.
please be seated. Please rise for the academic procession. I declare this convocation ceremony open. Graduates. <laughs> Graduates, ladies and gentlemen, can you please remain standing for a minute's silence in memory of the late Ahmad Barbazia Tun Ashad Ayub, our late Chancellor of Inti International University. Graduates, ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. It is with great honor that we now invite Amherst Professor Dr. Lim Ho Ping to deliver the opening address.
Yang berbahagia Dr. Joseph Lee Vice Chancellor Inti International University Distinguished guests Graduates Ladies and gentlemen Members of the Board of Governors Faculty and staff of NT, parents, family, friends, and distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we all join our graduates today on their very memorable and auspicious occasion. It is indeed an honor to be standing here experiencing with all of you a day of joy. This is the day that we celebrate in this class of 2022. Before I go on, please join me in giving a round of applause as we celebrate the graduation of our graduates. Join me, everybody. Undoubtedly, all these remarkable graduates have reached one of their greatest milestones. An exciting new life is opening before you. But let us take a moment and look back at how far you have come. Despite the ch challenges and changes, especially in the past two years with COVID-19, all of you graduates have persevered and you have made it to the finish line. Let us also give a round of applause to the faculty members. They have provided you with endless support throughout the years. It does take a village to produce graduates. The pandemic has caused immense changes, especially in terms of technology. We have come to rely so much on technology as things were forced to move online. From physical classes to meetings and even to convocation ceremonies. It was a lot to take in, but Inti students shouldered on. And we are very proud of all of you. Seeing this, seeing all of you here at your convocation gives me confidence that INTI graduates are certainly adaptable and resilient to face challenges in the future. Do not be afraid of change, for when we open ourselves to changes, we also open ourselves to opportunities and growth. As a higher education institution, Inti International University is always looking for ways to grow by improving our academics and research. Despite all the limitations and travel restrictions presented by the pandemic, we continue to expand our network with other universities and with industry. In the past year alone, we have made new partnerships with more than 10 universities from the Philippines and Brazil. These partnerships give our students and academic more opportunities that involve curriculum development, exchange programs, research collaboration, 
and more. They also support our goal of producing graduates who can succeed in anything that they pursue. These graduates are the game changers of tomorrow. Graduates, don't let challenges and hard times bring you down. There will be obstacles. There will be difficulties. And certainly, there will be temporary defeats on your journey. But look at them as opportunities to make your life better. Remember, if you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. If you can't walk, you can crawl. Just keep moving forward. You need to do that. Whatever you do, do it with a purpose, a vision, a passion, and with sincerity. What the world needs are people who can learn and adapt to changes. It needs people like you who can think critically and creatively to solve problems and having the motivation to succeed and to help others to succeed. These skills are the most important outcomes of your university education. They are the skills that build the sustainability and the well-being of a nation. I strongly believe you have developed the skills you need to go on your new journey. Your education here at Inti International University has been designed to provide more than just academic knowledge. You need to succeed not only in your career, but also in today's changing world. The world that lies ahead for you will demand of you everything that you learn inside and outside the classroom. You need both the exp expertise you came here for and the soft skills you gained along the way, such as creativity, courage, and the ability to work as a team. As all of you join our global family of more than 7,000 alumni, I wish you the very best of luck. But don't forget the friendship, the achievements, and the memories of your experiences at NT. These will all help you to thrive out there in a new world for you. I hope you make the most of these relationships and that in the near future, you will come back. Remember, in these uncertain times, we need each other more than ever. Starting tomorrow, on your first day as alumni, the good work you do in your careers and in our community will continue to make our university stronger. Because we are forever linked, our success is your success. And your triumphs are our triumphs. Congratulations again, graduates. Thank you to all of you for being a part of this happy occasion. We really look forward to hearing great things from all of you. Once again, my heartfelt and the staff of Inti International University extend their heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you graduates. Thank you very much. Thank you, Emeritus Professor Dr. Lim Ho Ping. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Tan Yifen, the Registrar of Impi International University, will now present the class of 2022 for master's degree, bachelor's degree, and diploma. Recipients of Inti International University, master's degree, bachelor's degree, and diploma, please rise. Vice Chancellor, I present to you the recipients of master's degree, bachelor's degree, and diploma program from the Inti International University Class of 2022. They have successfully completed their academic requirements and passed all prescribed examinations. By the power vested in me by the Inti International University Board of Governor, I hereby confer the certificate to the recipient of Class 2000. Recipients of Inti International University certificates, please be seated. The deans of the faculties request leave to present their candidates. Vice Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, we are delighted today to announce the first convocation for the Master of Education Management program. We had a modest launch of the program in May 2020 with only three students enrolled. Today, we have over 200 students on the program. We are celebrating the success of six graduates for this convocation. And we are very happy to have one graduate present in person today, despite the travel restrictions. Vice Chancellor, I present to you the sole graduate today from the Faculty of Education and Liberal Arts. Is it my name? Su Man Yi. Vice Chancellor, I present to you graduates from the Faculty of Business and Communications. Master of Business Administration, Norshila Binti Jaffa. Tan Yi Jin. Te B I. Amira Binti Mustafa. Chan Yi Hong. Chin Ga Mei. Ch 
Chong Ji Yin. Eunice Ui Zhu Lin. Fan Mei Chan. Ming Wei Gobi Shankar Krishnan Ho Shu Ling Kang Wei Lun Ray Lee Kiao Hong Lim Wan Ching Lao Hon Yao Lai Yan Yan M. A. Muhammad Ali bin Abdul Hai Ma Zia Xin. Mohanadas Nadraja Nur Farid Fatila Binti Ghazali Nur Shafika Binti Zainal Ong Zi Ming Renuga Kader Velo Sharmin Rahman Tan Xiao Yuan Tang Tong Yang Zen Yi Yung Vaigarasi Tiagan Boon Yu Fung Boon Yu Hui Wong Ji Hong Tian Kao Ting Yap 
Jun Ken. Venus Kwan Po Huang. Wong Chin Yi. Chui Ching Hao. Gan Ke Zing. Go Wei Bin. Gordon Go. Kang Jia Lun. Lim Pei Ming. Lo Chi Kyung. Lo Yen Wen. Ong Kang Peng. Tan Guan Chong. Wu Bo Lin. Bachelor of Business Honors, Human Resource Management. Adrian Allen Ajit Singh. Chiang Pui Min. Chin Fong Yi. Eng Sin Ru. Eng Sin Yi. Darshini Murali. Gunalan Madhavan. Ho Jing Zhuang. Pang Chiang Yen. Frida Muniandi. Bachelor of Business Honors, International Business. Fu Yun Ho. Ng Mao Wa. Song Wei Tan. Chiu Wei Ti.
Chong Woon Yi. Er Eileen. Jiromaru Hiroki. Kavita Krishnan. Mo Chin Pyong. <laughs> Prithi Ki Judge Dinesh Singh, Judge. Tan Hui Shan. Tan Yi Feng. <laughs> Bachelor of Business Honors Marketing, Chong Mi Ling. <laughs> Sasikala Sani Babu. Alvin Wong Shen Yang. Chan Wei Yi. Go Chi Fang. Jessica Tay Yi Chi. Ki Tang Hoon. Li Kai Chi. Li Yang Ling. Liu Wei. Luke Isaiah Das Edmund. Siti Fatima Binti Abdul Rahman. Tan Hui Shi. Tan Yin Chin. Tong Wei Sheng. Wu Kai Wen. Yap Chun Kit. Yap Zin Yi. <laughs> Bachelor of Business Honors Psychology, Nur Adila Binti Muhammad Azan.
Shavira Noviamsha. Tommy Bobianto. <laughs> Bachelor of Financial Planning Honors, Hong Yue Shi. <laughs> Jasmine Kaur Jasvinder Singh. <laughs> Anishan Jayaram. <laughs> Sammy Lee Ji Shan. <laughs> Tan Yi Shan. Bachelor of Mass Communication, Mass Communication Honors, Cassandra Shelsey Malanjun. <laughs> Lena Muhammad Rafiq Muhammad Hashim Maidin. Rachel Lim Kar Hui. <laughs> Cham Zi Lim. <laughs> Gan Jia Hui. Juanita Johnson. <laughs> Nishalini Sharavanan. <laughs> Te Xiaowen. Yap Yang Yang <laughs> Yong Yong <laughs> Diploma in Accounting Helen Chong Yi Zin. Sia Jin Er <laughs> Diploma in Business Chia Jun Ren <laughs> Chong Wai Kit Guy Three Valen Ho Kai Z Kok Yan Hui Lai Wen Bin Yong Chi Lim Lo Sun Lu Yi An Ma Kai 
Mai Yen. Ng Xiao Zi. Ravina Rai Murali. Sanjeeswaran Sugumaran. Sharmila Devi Ananda Kumaran. Sharvini Devi Ganesan. Tarsini Silveraj Viswaraja Ambarasan Vitya Sri Murti Diploma in Mass Communications. Choi Zin Yi. Koi Yung Yi. Lee Hon Chi. Tarsini Pulayanan Vice Chancellor. I present to you graduates from the Faculty of Engineering and Quantity Surveying. Bachelor of Civil Engineering, Brian Huawei Wen. Desmond Ko Jin Yang. Gan Zhen Hui. Li Chen Xuan. Ong Xi Pei. Rachel Xiu Yi Xuan. Chong Ken Fei Dang Yang Hao David Tan Ri Ko Wei Che Lee Jun Sun, Muhammad Abdul Rahi Ali, Shahitana Suresh. Sing Meng Jie, Bachelor of Mechanical Engineering Honors, Ho Chi Hong, p 
Tang Ming Wei. Yo Rong Hong. Kui Ting Fang. Kavan Rush Anna Lelaki Jai Yan Tran. Kali Muhammad Abdul Kadir Hubis. Leong Ka Fai Yujin. Muhammad Nasif Rizwan. Amel bin Nazir. Pio Jin Shan. Tai Go Chong. Yasin Shajat Ali Shaikh Bachelor of Science Honors Quantity Serving Megan Tan Hui Li Yap Chin Wen Alex Yong Kan Wai. Bernard Liu Chun Yang. Brian Tan Keng Seng. Selin Yu Su Ling. Chan Lik Sang Cheng Hong Ren Cheng Wei Run Chin Ka Yan Dino Davin Go Ka Lu Helen Liu Sin Jie Ho Ming Ching Ho Wei Che Hu Pei Ying Siuni Lau Kok Fan Li Tian Long Renat Leong Jun Jie Lim Bo Hao
Lin Chai Shen. Lim Yan Jun. Law Zi Hong. Muhammad Arif bin Kamaluddin. Peggy Yu Pei Yi. Tan Meng An. Tan Chi Wen. Wong Ming Hui. Diploma in Quantity Surveying, Ling Fang Hao. Vice Chancellor Dr. Joseph Lee, I present to you the graduate from Faculty of Data Science and Information Technology. Bachelor of Computer Science Honors, Aaron Raj Joseph Analaki Charles Benjamin. Andrew Johannes. Asfa bin Abdullah Karim. Chan Siu Mei. Himana Anal Laki Anal Malay. Jonathan Chia Ching Seng. Fahad bin Abdullah. Lee Seng Wei. Navindran Analaki Ravi. Ng Sin Chen. Yi Yong Seng. Bachelor of Information Technology Honours, Aingaran Analaki Viganarj. Olid bin Nasir. Putri Yosivia Noviriviramia. Diploma in Information Technology, Chiam Wei Jun. Fadila No Rania.
Phong Chun Yip. Kiran Analaki Nava Mani. Ng Yi Sen. Siti Zubaida binti Zulkifri. Yeo Ziyi. Vice Chancellor, I present to you the graduates from the Faculty of Health and Life Sciences. Bachelor of Biotechnology with Honours, Muskan Karmani. Muhammad Arshad. Tanusha Anabhupramphan Ramakrishnan. Bachelor of Sciences in Physiotherapy. Kong Ying Li. Tan Yin Wei. Tio Yu Xuan. Alyssa Johannes. Benny Chow Ji Lee. Chan Hing Ming. Chiu Hua Hong. Chiu Si Yan. Chong Jia Ern. Ivan Ho Heng Kit. Jivita Anak Perempuan Kandasami. Jonathan Tay Yin Ji. Jun Liu Siu Siu. Kong Ji Yang. Ko Jing Shun. Lim Jia Shun. Mark Timothy Chung. Noor Adlina binti Muhammad Tazir.
Kwa Wei Ning. Rachel Kelly Wong Yi Bing. Sarah Fadila Binti Azaha. Siu Lai Kwan. <laughs> Yap Wei Si. Yesuda Anak Perempuan Murali. Vice Chancellor, I present to you graduates from the Bachelor of Traditional Chinese Medicine to take the Hippocratic Oath. The Hippocratic Oath is important for all our medical graduates as a pledge to their commitment to serve our community with the highest ethical standard. Graduates, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I solemnly pledge to consecrate my life to the service of humanity. To consecrate my life to the service of humanity. I will give to my teachers. I will give to my teachers the respect and gratitude that is their due. The respect and gratitude that is their due. I will practice my profession. I will practice my profession with conscience and dignity. With conscience and dignity. The health of my patient. The health of my patient will be my first consideration. Will be my first consideration. I will respect the secrets. I will respect the secrets that are confided in me. They are confided in me. Even after the patient has died. Even after the patient has died. I will maintain by all the means in my power. I will maintain by all the means in my power. The honor and the noble traditions of the medical profession. The honor and the noble traditions of the medical profession. My colleagues will be my sisters and brothers. My colleagues will be my sisters and brothers. I will not permit considerations of age. I will not permit considerations of age. Disease or disability. Disease or disability. Creed, ethnic origin, gender. Creed, ethnic origin, gender. Nationality, political affiliation. Nationality, political affiliation, race, sexual orientation, race, sexual orientation, social standing or any other factor, social standing or any other factor, to intervene between my duty and my patient, to intervene between my duty and my patient. I will maintain, I will maintain the utmost respect for human life. The utmost respect for human life. I will not use my medical knowledge. I will not use my medical knowledge to violate human rights and civil liberties. To violate human rights and civil liberties. Even under threat. Even under threat. I make these promises. I make these promises solemnly, solemnly, freely, freely, and upon my honor. And upon my honor. Graduates, please remember your oath and carry it with you to the end of your service. From Bachelor in Traditional Chinese Medicine. Chan Hui Ki. Wong Siu Mei. Chong Chi In. Dion Rui In.
Vice Chancellor, I would like to present the Industry Award to the Outstanding Graduates. The Industry Award is a distinctive award given by our industry partners and multinational corporations in recognition of our students' excellent performance in their academic studies, extracurricular leadership, and being innovative in the development of their research projects. May I now uh, invite Mr. Christopher Chai, Chief Technology Officer, Apple Quick Technologies, to come on stage to present the Apple Quick Technologies Award for the best student in computer science. The award is a voucher for one website landing page worth 1,000 ringgit, and the award goes to Mr. Sajid Ali. Thank you, Mr. Christopher Chai. May I now invite Mr. Charles Chong K. Hung, Head of Partnership, BookDoc, to come on stage to present the BookDoc Award for Best Student in International Business. Mr. Charles Chong K. Hung, Head of Partnership Bookdoc. The award is a Bookdoc Marketplace voucher worth 1,000 ringgit, and the award goes to Ms. Xu Yi Chun. Thank you. Now I would like to invite Mr. Lo Chi Wui, Project Director, Hin Group, Hin Construction Sundarian Berhad, to come on stage to present the Hin Group, Hin Construction Sundarian Berhad Award for Best Student in Information Technology. The award is a check for 1,000 ringgit, and the award goes to Mr. Olive Bin Nasir. Thank you, Mr. Lo Chi Wui. Now I would like to invite Mr. Wong Chong Hua, Project Manager, Hin Group, Hin Construction Sundarian Berhad, to come on stage to present the Hin Group, Hin Construction Sundarian Berhad Award for the best student in mechanical engineering. The award is a check for 1,000 ringgit and the award goes to Mr. Ho Chi Hong. Thank you, Mr. Wong. Now I would like to invite Mr. Siu Tent Woon, Marketing Director, Hin Group, Hin Construction Sundarian Berhad, to come on stage to present the Hin Group, Hin Construction Sundarian Berhad Award for Best Student in Quantity Surveying. 
The award is a check for 1,000 ringgit, and the award goes to Miss Megan Tan Hui Li. Thank you, Mr. Su Ted Moon. May I now invent, uh, invite Dr. Tang Jing Ping, General Manager, Hing Jang Gromax Sandiran Berhad, to come on stage to present the Hugh Chang Gromax Sandiran Berhad Award for Best Student in Accounting. The award is a check for 1,000 ringgit, and the award goes to Ms. Chan Luk Shin. Thank you, Dr. Tang Jingping. May I now invite Dr. Kasturi, Managing Director, Ishwana Resources in Dilian Burhad, to come to stage to present the Ishwana Resources Sindirian Burhad Award for Best Student in Physiotherapy. The award is a check for 1,000 ringgit and the award goes to Mr. Tan Jiajun. Thank you, Dr. Kasturi. Now, may I invite Dr. Krishnan, Chief Executive o uh, Officer, Ishwana Resources in Dirian Burhad, to come on stage to present the Ishwana Resources in Dirian Burhad Award for Best Student in Traditional Chinese Medicine. The award is a check for 1,000 ringgit and the award goes to Ms. Chan Hui Ki. Thank you, Dr. Krishnan. May I now invite Mr. Shafu Arish Shaf Mohammad, Said, Chief Operation Officer, Cooperatives Co Bank, Pertama Malaysia Berhad, to come on stage to present the Cooperative Co op Pertama Malaysia Berhad Award for Best Student in Biotechnology. The award is a check for 1,000 ringgit, and the award goes to Ms. Mushkan Karmani. Corporasi Cobank Pertama Malaysia Berhad Award for Best Student in Finance. The award is a check for 1,000 ringgit, and the award goes to Miss Venus Kwan Po Hua. Thank you, Dr. Chang Fung Lung. May I now invite Datin Maliga Supramaniam, Senior Managing Partner, Oxidata Software Sandirian Burha to come to stage. Oxidata Software Sandirian Burha Award for the best student in mass communication. The award is a check for 1,000 ringgit, and the award goes to Ms. Selina Muhammad Rafiq, Muhammad Hashim Maidin.
Thank you, Dashim Malika. May I now invite Dr. Chang Fung Lung, engineer, Katie Perunding Sundirian Burha to come to stage to present the Katie Perunding Sundirian Burha Award for Best Student in Civil Engineering. The award is a check for 1,000 ringgit, and the award goes to Ms. Ong Shi Pei. Thank you, Dr. Chang Fung Lung. May I now invite Ms. Sundas Rawat, Senior Talent Acquisition Manager, Teleperformance Malaysia Sundirian Burhat, to come on stage to present the Teleperformance Malaysia Sundirian Burhat Award for Best Student in Human Resource Management. The award is a check for 1,000 ringgit, and the award goes to Ms. Ng Shin Yi. Thank you, Ms. Sundas Rawat. Next, we will present the university prizes. I would like to invite Dr. Alex Lee, Collaborative Partnership Leader in Team Malaysia, to present the University of Hertfordshire Awards for August 2021 session. There are three recipients for this award. They are Ms. Ng Sin Rui. Ms. Ng Sin Yi. Ms. Rachel Lim Ka Hoy. The Hertfordshire Awards, University Awards for September 2021 session, and the award goes to Ms. Tan Yi Jin. Thank you, Dr. Alex Lee. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Lai Yin Ling, Pro Vice Chancellor in the International University to present the Coventry University Awards. The first category of award is the Best Student Award for August 2021 session, and there are two recipients of this award. They are Mr. Moaz Man Manhar and Mr. Olid Bin Nazir. Unfortunately, Mr. Moaz Mazar is unable to present at this ceremony and the award will be presented in absentia. The second category of award is the Best Project Award for August 2021 session and there are two recipients of this award. They are Mr. Muhammad Sultan Ahmad Galak, and Angaran Anatlalaki Vignara. Unfortunately, Mr. Muhammad Sultan Ahmad Galam is unable to present at this ceremony and the award will be presented in action, in absentia. Thank you, Dr. Lai Yinling. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Tan Yifen, the Registrar of Inti International University, will now present the award of degrees of the university in absentia. Vice Chancellor, I present to you in addition for the award of degrees of the university in absentia, those candidates whose name appear in the order of proceeding but who have not been presented in person at this ceremony. 
by the authority vested in me, I admit this candidate to certificate of the university in absentia. Ladies and gentlemen, this ceremony would not be complete without a valedictorian speech. In this uh, convocation, Ms. Muskan Karmani from Bachelor of Biotechnology Honors Program will be giving the valedictorian speech representing the graduation class of 2022. Muskan joined Inti International University in January 2019 to pursue her bachelor's degree in biotechnology. Coming from Jakarta, Indonesia, she is an international student with good academic performance. Growing up, Mushkan always showed an avid interest in biological sciences, which developed into a broad interest in biotechnology, be it in theory or in practice. She enjoys learning from various things relating to biology and aims to contribute to the scientific field by finding solutions to problems that keep arising in the medical environmental or business sector of biotechnology. Mushkan's final year project that aimed to grow mushrooms on agricultural waste has been published as a journal article in the Journal of Agriculture and Biology Sciences as a Scopus Q4 publication. She was the vice chairperson of Life Science Club, the marketing student leader for Microsoft and a career service student ambassador. Her lecturers describe her as a lively, curious, independent, and hardworking person. She is an excellent communicator who understands her responsibilities well and now aims to do a Master's of Science in her field. In addition to her academic achievements, she has multiple job experiences in different fields. Muskan has worked as a bioinformatics intern for Lincoln University Slango Malaysia and taught her more uh, which has taught her more about the structure and function of the COVID-19 virus. Apart from this, she has also done freelance work in graphic designing, marketing, and article research. Currently, she is broadening her horizons in the, in the field of IT by working as a business development executive for PWM, an Indonesian tech company. Today, the graduates, she graduates with a first-class degree in biotechnology. Ladies and gentlemen, let us warmly welcome Muskan Karmani on stage. Dr. Joseph Lee, Vice Chancellor, Inti International University, Emeritus Professor, Dr. Lim Ho Peng, Dr. Alex Lee, Collaborative Partnership Leader, Inti Malaysia, Inti Management Team, Fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Before I commence my speech, I would like to take this time to thank everyone who has made it possible for us to be here. Distinguished guests, dear lecturers, supportive family members, and all the graduates. Today, we have gathered here, despite the times of extraordinary difficulty, to celebrate us graduates. But we are also here to appreciate all of you for your kindness, your patience, and your faith in us. I have seen in my years at INTI that you do not have to look far for inspiration, and my inspiration has always been the people around me. I am a firm believer that the harder you work, the luckier you will get. And standing here in front of all of you, I am feeling very lucky. It is an honor to be here today in front of you, <laughs> delivering the valedictorian speech for July 2022. Three years ago, I entered Inti International University with nervous excitement and absolutely no direction for my life. Today, I stand here in front of you, calm, confident, with achievements I would not have dreamed of, a scientific journal publication and a degree at the age of 21. Being at Inti changed my life. Inti gave me the opportunity to serve as the vice chairperson of the Life Science Club, the marketing student leader for Microsoft, a career service student ambassador, and I have learned how to communicate with people, to lead them, to partake and organize events, to manage time and work with people as a team. In the professional world, these experiences were very beneficial for me. As I work, I learn about the techniques that they've taught me here as a student. 
We truly do have the best educators here at INTI, and I am sure graduates just like me, you will carry their knowledge forward wherever you go. INTI emphasizes quality education, but it also produces quality individuals like all of you. Next, I'd like to take this time to express my immense gratitude to our loving family members. Thank you for all that you have done for us. We would not be here without you and your efforts. To my family, Mama, Papa, Baya, I am who I am because of you. Three of you are my world. I love you very, very much. <laughs> Graduates, um, can you all do me a favor and please rise from your seats? Thank you. Please face your loved ones. Turn around to them, they're right behind you. Remember their faces, they have always been there for you. As a token for their sacrifice, for their love for you, please bow to them. Thank you. Please turn around and face your lecturers, your educators. Thank you for everything you have done for us. We really, really appreciate everything you have done for us in the past three years, the past four years, how long ever you worked hard to take care of us and to give us the education. Thank you. For, as a token for them, please bow. Thank you, dear graduates. You may take your seat. Also, a special thank you to all our friends for their support and everyone at Career Services, Student Station, Office of Administration and Records, the IT Help Desk and all other support staff. You guys are real gems, you guys keep us updated and you guys always help us when we need you. Thank you, we really appreciate all of you. <laughs> Graduates, most of us came here today as strangers but we will leave as friends who have shared the common experience of being an INTI graduate. I'd like to congratulate each and every one of you. We did it. We actually did it. We are now holding the product of our hard work, our degree in our hands. You should give yourself a pat on your back to celebrate your efforts, your achievements, and your new title. Congratulations, all of you. In March 2020, the very foundations of our lives had been shaken. We were told that there will be a lockdown and we will have to go home and stay home for a while. That lockdown lasted a very long time, years for some. The world was in turmoil, everything had changed. We had to adjust and follow a new order, a new normal, and adjusting to that while doing a degree or teaching a degree is remarkable. I want to say to you today, graduates of July 2022, that we are special. We have earned a degree, which is a remarkable achievement just by itself, but we have earned it in a time when we were not even sure of the condition of the world. Adaptability is a law of nature that has allowed us to survive as a species. And if the pandemic has taught us anything, it is that nothing is constant and we must always be open to learn new things. We must always be open to work hard because nothing worth learning is ever easy. Even our lecturers, had to modify their lectures and mode of teaching in the middle of a semester. And since we have seen them adapt and persevere, we must do their hard work justice by never giving up in the face of sudden challenges. That is what it means to be a graduate today. The COVID-19 pandemic will be remembered as the shortest pandemic in history. It will be noted that it was the fastest any disease received approval for vaccination. But for us, the pandemic wasn't short for us, wasn't it? We struggled a lot. We struggled to stay motivated. We struggled to learn. The years where we were supposed to make friends, make connections, have fun, we spent facing a computer screen, feeling sad, feeling a bit depressed, feeling like ah, we are not good enough, but that is not true. We did this. We are holding our degree. We completed our degree. We got through the pandemic with a degree. You should be proud of yourself. We are resilient. We are capable and we are knowledgeable. That is what you bring to the workforce. No matter what anyone says, we are the batch that never gave up. 
There may be many things in life that others have done that you have not, but always remember that you are capable of doing them and that will help you succeed. With a degree from this institution, we have everything we need to get started. As Nelson Mandela once said, education is the most powerful weapon you need to change the world. Now you have your education. Go, change the world. I want you to remember, fellow graduates, today is the start of your new journey where you will have more to learn, more to do, and more to explore. Life does not stop teaching regardless of you having a degree. So you must not stop learning. You must continue to put your best efforts to always try to learn. Even when unpleasant things happen, life does go on. Thus, we all must go on. I firmly believe that nothing in life is a waste of time if it taught you something. I want to show you guys something. Have you ever seen a Rubik's Cube before? Do you guys know how to solve it? Anyone? Do you know how easy it is to solve a Rubik's Cube? I learned how to solve it during the pandemic. And I'm telling you, at first it seems really hard because when it's messy, it's like everywhere. And we really don't know how to solve it. But remember, life is also like this. When it's messy, everything seems difficult. Everything seems like there's no hope, nothing is going to happen. But remember, if you keep believing in yourself, with a few easy twists and turns, you will find your way. So just stay calm and keep cool. Thank you. Now I would like to invite Dr. La Yin Ling, Pro Vice Chancellor in the International University to present a bouquet of flowers to the valedictorian. Thank you, Dr. La Yin Ling and Ms. Muskan Karmani. We thank you for attending today's ceremony and sharing this proud moment with all our new graduates. I now invite the Vice Chancellor to close the ceremony. I now declare this convocation ceremony closed. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem. Please remain standing for the academic recession.
graduates, ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. We have now come to the end of this morning's ceremony. Before we end this ceremony, I feel honored to announce that the tassel on your motorboard is specially designed and made at Inti Fab Lab. As Inti graduates, you can remove the tassel and take it home with you as a convocation gift. Oh.